The brilliance of the moon and all the stars in the sky over Collinwood cannot prevent the shadow of terror from visiting one of us tonight. Young David Collins has learned part of the secret behind the evil at Collinwood. And now he lives in a state of constant fear. Hello, David. I've been looking everywhere for you. But now I've found you, haven't I? What were you doing in the mausoleum, David? Is there something in there that fascinates you? I think you're keeping something from me. Do you know what happens to little boys who lie to their elders? Come, David, you'll go to my house and you can tell me about your little friend, Sarah. Didn't she have a little secret she wanted to share with you? A secret in the mausoleum? Very well, we'll go to my house and see if your memory doesn't become a little clearer there. lying. He could see I knew about the secret room in the mausoleum. Sarah said no one else knew about it except for us. But Barnabas knows. He was there. How did he find out? And why doesn't he want anyone else to know about it? What's the secret about that room? Oh, Sarah, you've got to come to me. I've got so many questions to ask you. And I'm scared, Sarah. I'm scared. Sarah! Sarah, where are you? I need you, Sarah. Where are you when I need you? David, who are you talking to? No one, but I heard you shouting. I was just playing a game. Are you all right? Yes, you look a little pale. I feel fine, honest. Maybe you should go to bed now. No, I'd like to stay up a little later and work on my stamps. All right, but you promise me that you won't get to bed later than 9.30. You understand? All right, 9.30. I'll be down in the drawing room if you need me. I'm, I'm on my way down to the old house. I must talk to Barnabas right away. Something's got to be done about but David. His behavior's getting worse, not better. Well, what's he done now? Well, I found him standing in front of the portrait again. He seemed absolutely terrified. He was talking to it. Well, what makes you think Barnabas will be able to help? Well, he seems to be the object of David's fear. I don't know why, but I thought Barnabas might. Well, I think he'll be just as puzzled as you and I are. <sighs> probably right. But something has to be done with that child. He can't go on like this. He needs help. Do you think Dr. Woodard should examine him? Well, physically, he's just as healthy as he's ever been. Well, if he's not willing to talk to either of us, I don't see how we can possibly help him. There must be somebody he's willing to talk to. Well, there's Burke. He's always found it easier to talk to him than to us. Could you get Burke up here tonight? 
Well, he's gone out of town until tomorrow, but I can get him up here then. Good. Well, Vicky. Yes, what is it? Have you and Burke set a date for your marriage yet? Well, we're waiting until Burke gets word on the house he wants to buy. Oh, well, the lawyer should reach a decision very soon. Good. I guess we should be setting a date very soon. Vicky, I... I'd like to ask you something. Yes, what is it? If David goes on the way he is, he might find it very difficult to adjust to a new governess. I understand. If David needs me, I'm perfectly willing to move the date back a little. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Good evening, Elizabeth. Barnabas, what a coincidence. I was just on my way down to the old house to see you. Well, how interesting. I think we each want to talk about the same thing. Uh, shall we go into the drawing room? Mrs. Stoddard, I'll be up in my room. Oh, no, please, Vicky. I'd like you to join us. There's no secrecy involved here. And besides, at times as depressing as this, one can be grateful for the company of two beautiful women. for what Willie did? Oh, yes, there is. After all, I took him in and tried to make him respectable. And you nearly succeeded. No, I'm afraid I failed miserably. What disturbs me most is that I gave him refuge in the Collins family name. I'll never forgive myself if what he's done should result in a scandal for the family. Has there been any further word about Willie? Well, the last I heard, he was still in a coma. If the newspapers decide to sensationalize this I don't stuff, care about that, Barnabas, and I don't think you should either. Well, I can't help it. I think it's the greatest single shock of my life. You mustn't be so harsh on yourself. You had no way of knowing what was in Willie's mind. Well, that's very kind of you. Actually, I want to talk to you about an entirely different matter. Oh? Yes, yeah, about David. I'm extremely worried about him. Well, why? What's happened to him? Well, let's say something is happening to him, and none of us know what it is. I don't understand. Well, the other night when you found him outside the mausoleum, did something happen? Something that he hasn't told us about? Why, no. Of course not. I found him and brought him home, and that's all there was to it. Oh, he was a little frightened, of course. His being frightened then is understandable. But he's more afraid than ever now. Is he? Yes. He's terrified day and night. And he refuses to tell any of us why. He won't even admit that he is frightened. Well, have you any idea of what the cause of this fear in him is? Barnabas, I, I don't know how to tell you this. and I fail to see the reason why, but he seems to be afraid of you. Of me? But why? I have no idea. Who do you think I do? I thought you might. Surely, Elizabeth, you don't think I had anything to do with it? No, no, of course not. I mean, that is nothing intentional. Uh, when, uh, what, I, I, I just don't know what you mean. Well, when you found him outside the mausoleum, did you say or do something that he might have misunderstood? Well, that's possible, of course. But I can't imagine what it could have been. Uh, probably was nothing that happened that night. I'm just guessing at possibilities because, because I don't know what else to do. You're very upset, aren't you? The only time I've ever seen David this terrified was when his mother tried to take him away from here. Well, I don't mean to minimize the situation, but it is possible that David's fear could be an imaginary one. Oh, the reason could be imaginary. But I assure you, the fear is quite real. And it gets worse every day. Well, is there anything I can do to help? I don't know what you could do. Well, since the reason for his fear seems to have something to do with me, I, perhaps I should talk to him. Mrs. Stoddard and I both try to talk to him, but it doesn't seem to help. Well, I think what is required here is a good man-to-man -man talk. Do I have your permission, Elizabeth? I'm in favor of anything that will help. But if he doesn't want to talk, I wouldn't force the issue. Don't worry. I'll be very gentle with you. Good evening, David. Cousin Barnabas, 
What are you doing here? He wants to talk to you about something. What about? I'll let Uncle Cousin Barnabas tell you. Excuse me. I understand you're disturbed about something, David. Well, who told you that? Your Aunt Elizabeth and Miss Winters. They're both very worried about you. Well, they shouldn't be. I'm fine. You don't look it, David. I don't? No, you look frightened. What are you frightened of? Nothing. Oh, yes, you are. And I told your Aunt Elizabeth that I'd find out what it is. Is it me you're frightened of, David? Why should I be frightened of you? Well, it isn't polite to answer questions with questions. Now, why are you afraid of me? I didn't say that I was. You didn't have to. Now, sit down, dear. We haven't had a good chance to talk since that night at the mausoleum. You had a look on your face then that you have now, as if you have a secret. I haven't got a secret or anything to hide. You did then, and you do now. And I want you to tell me what it is. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps we could ease your fear, David, if you were to tell me precisely where you were when you were lost. I, I already told everyone a hundred times. Yes, and everyone believes you. But you see, I don't, because I know where you were. Where? You were in the secret place that little Sarah told you about, weren't you? No. Yes, you were. And that secret place is in the Collins Mausoleum, isn't it? I don't know a secret place. You know that there's more to the mausoleum than just the big room with the three coffins in it, don't you? No. I swear. Then how did this knife get in there? I don't know. You're lying again, David. Now, you were in that room. Now, I want you to tell me what other secrets little Sarah told you. She hasn't told me anything. Yes, she has. She's told you all about her family, hasn't she? No. About her mother and her, her father and about her brother. She's told you about her brother. No, she hasn't. I swear she hasn't. I I've asked her, but... But she won't tell me. You asked her what? About her family and where she lives. Are you sure she didn't tell you anything? Yes. If you're lying again, David, I will be very angry if I find out what it is. I'm not lying. Honest. Come in. Are you still talking? I think we've decided to postpone our talk for a while. It seems that David's a little tired. I told you you should have gone to bed earlier. Are you all right? Yes. Well, then we'll leave you alone so you can get some sleep. I'll walk you to the door, Barnabas. Thank you, Vicky. Good night, David. Good night, David. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> someone put an empty coffin in here. It hasn't always been empty. There was someone in it once, but he went away. Sarah, the dead don't just get up and walk away. Sometimes they do. There's another room in the mausoleum. It's secret room, and you were in it. No, I wasn't. I swear I wasn't. Now I want to know what other secrets Sarah has told you. What other secrets, David? What other secrets? Sarah, Sarah, where are you? I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. Sarah, where are you? 
for Sarah. Do you know where I can find her? What are you doing to me? Leave me alone. I've got to find Sarah. Sarah, where are you? Sarah. answering some questions. About what? About yourself. Do you realize that I don't know a thing about you? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, who you are and where you came from. That's easy. I was born in the very same place you were. In Collinsport? Yes. I lived on a hill in a big, big house until I was about nine, ten. And then I got very sick, and everyone came to see me, and they were very sad. Because you were sick? No, because I died. Sarah, be serious. I am. I died, and everyone brought me such pretty flowers. But Sarah, if you died, what could you be doing here now? I don't know. I think I'm looking for someone. Yes, I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? Come with me and I'll show you. Where are you going? Take my hand. You'll see. Sarah, I want to know where we're going. You'll see. Is this the place? Sarah, there's a coffin here. I know. Yeah. It's just like in a secret room. But this isn't a secret room. I know. Is that coffin empty too? No, David. That coffin isn't empty. See? Sarah! Let's get out of here quickly! No. This is who I came to find. Sarah, you've come back. You've come back at last. Sarah, look out. He'll get you, Sarah. Get away from him. Shadows is a Dan Curtis production.